opening day of elk. Look at how uh, packed up and ready I am. <laughs> I don't know exactly how far we'll end up going because we've never been to this area before, so we've got to kind of feel it out. She's pretty. Nick and I were just saying, um, we don't remember what we used to do before we hunted because now it just consumes our entire fall and even so much of the rest of our year and it's funny to think about the i don't know just who we were before all of this right now we're you know miles deep into the back country looking at some of the most beautiful landscape that there is in the lower 48 and it's just not something that I ever, ever, ever thought that I would be doing. But yeah, but now it, it all makes so much sense, it's crazy. Anyways, back to hiking. This has been dried up for a long time. I think we're making the right decision by going to the bottom. That's a big rub. <laughs> so cool. Good sign. Great sign. It's creek crossing time. <laughs> oh, my feet. They just feel like tender. Yeah. I felt like I was drinking a lot, but I only drank a liter and a half. You put a curtain on your bladder. You probably drank two liters? Almost three. Two and a half. Damn. Found camp finally. Um, took us a little bit longer than we wanted to, but we found a good camping spot. We do not have good vantage points for glassing. There's just this one little section that we can see. So tomorrow morning it'll probably be bright and early. But let's get camp set up and then we can talk game plan. Sleeping bag, sleeping pad, pillow, tent, gear explosion. Nick's getting all his stuff taken care of too. Probably want to set the tent up first, just get organized, and then food. Mm. Mm. So for dinner, I have this freaking huge bowl of like ramen noodles. Um, it really was not, it doesn't weigh that much, only like three ounces. So I'm eating that tonight since it's just taking up so much space. I have some liquid IV in my little drink. What flavor is this? Acai. Those are delicious. I didn't pour the whole thing in yet. Nick, what have you got? Boom. Nick's got some African peanut stew. Delicious. And Nick packed in a bottle of Crown Royal. Look at that. <laughs> I'll have a drink tonight just to like help me go to sleep. Look at this moon popping up. Oh damn. So we haven't heard any bugles. I didn't get to glass at all. Nick glassed for maybe five or ten minutes. Tomorrow, the plan is to leave our camp here. This will officially be our base camp for at least the next two nights. And we'll wake up, we're gonna hike, 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 but we'll be moving light, which will be so great. We've got plenty of water tonight. We're by water, so we'll be able to fill up again in the morning um, and just try and crush some ground and glass and listen and hopefully they're bugling. It is opening day and it's so early. They really don't get fired up for another two weeks. So that's what's happening.
<laughs> Nick's blown up his pillow. We use little packable pillows. They're so nice. You can actually kind of see mine. Makes a difference. But if you don't have a packable pillow, a puffy jacket does just fine too. These are just a little bit nicer. We're gonna go to sleep, wake up, hunt some elk. Well, good morning. <laughs> Probably looks about the same as it did last night because it's really only been a couple hours and it's still dark. Um, I didn't sleep very well. I tossed and turned all night long, just desperately trying to hear a bugle and also just uncomfortable. Um, comfortable, but like backcountry comfortable, you know what I mean? As far as conditions go, it was freaking perfect last night. There's no wind. It's so quiet and still. It's like the absolute perfect conditions for sleeping in the backcountry. Um, I just think I'm too excited. I just could not sleep. Nick said the same. So there's the tent. Just gonna get our gear ready. <laughs> get the day started. Shedding layers already. So first step on the agenda is to glass. On our way up, look at what I found. It's a little spike shed. I'm keeping it, the first sweet Abby girl. The first shed antler that I ever found was a spike shed, oddly enough. And the one that I found was not even as nice as this one. <laughs> Check out this game trail. It's freaking huge. It's giant. I've never seen anything like it. You're literally standing in a pile of elk poop. We came up on this kill site. It has to be, I would guess, two weeks old at most. Yeah? Uh, right here you can see the hide. It's a cow, a cow elk. And we found like three or four huge piles of bear poop. Huge. Her skull's over there, her spine, her legs, everything's kind of spread out. But there is, like, there's a lot of bear poop. That's one, two, three. Four. Look right down at your feet. <laughs> Damn. So, I don't know if the bear is the one responsible for killing the elk, but the bear has clearly been back day after day eating this thing. I mean, that's like five piles that we've seen. We're not looking that hard. It may have been coming back here like for the entire past week. That'd be cool. My elk tag can actually be put on a black bear as long as the season's open you take it with the same weapon that your elk tag is. So technically I could shoot a black bear with my... What was that? Uh. I could shoot a black bear with my bow. We found this big fella. 
most beautiful wallow. Completely dried up. This isn't far from the cow elk bear kill. It was probably actually a mountain lion and then the bear, whatever. We'll just call it the bear kill. Um, come check out some of these tracks though, pretty cool. It's clearly a dog of some sort, probably a coyote. But this right here, see how the shape is so different? And there's another one right here. Cats don't leave claw marks. Correct. This, this print and this print are not from the same animal. I see. This is from a dog. This is from a cat. But I think it's a bobcat. I wonder if they're wolves or if they're coyotes. We didn't hear any wolves howling though. They're probably just coyotes. Just to show you the size difference between an elk and a deer. <laughs> like this is a deer, this is an elk. So wild. There's a lot more meat on that elk boy. <laughs> So the plan for tonight is to sit on that wallow, sort of just up a little nugget, so that we'll be able to see down into the wallow in case that bear comes back in, or in case elk come in to check the wallow. Even though it's dry, they might still come in to see if it is holding water again. Um, but it's also, like as long as we sit on this little nub, we'll be able to glass at the same time. So it'll be the best of both worlds. We'll like be able to keep an eye on the wallow while also glassing and it's a great spot. We should be able to hear a bull bugling anywhere in this whole entire valley. But we didn't hear any bugles this morning. Nick ripped off a couple just because and we got no responses. We haven't heard a peep out of anything. But all the sign is here, so we're gonna snooze it up and then rally again for part two of today's hunt. How do you feel? Feel good? Sleepy? I'm tired. I'm tired <clears throat> too. I need a nap, some food, and a pinch of Copenhagen. Ooh, ooh. All of the water is gone. Well, just about, I lied. I've got a tiny, tiny bit left in here. We took a little nap, but then the wind picked up. We actually heard a tree fall. It was pretty strong. Now we're gonna go get some water. It's like 1.45. Um, we still have a little bit of time to kill before we need to hike up and get into our spot. Our wallow bear kill glassing spot we'll see just trying to be as opportunistic as freaking possible let's go get some water i'm a happy girl i've got lunch i've got liquid iv mm. Oh, that's the energy one. I haven't tried that one yet. Matcha. It should taste like tea, I think. Lemon ginger. Oh. Do you like it? Is it weird? No, is it good? This one's the caffeine version. I haven't tried it yet. Look at our little lunch spot. So freaking cute. Mm. And we found shade. It doesn't get better than that. Probably shouldn't have poured it all in at once. <laughs> this one is the African peanut stew. So good. Dark chocolate chili. It was awesome. It's bison. And you can actually tell that it's bison. It's really good. This one is super, super good. Best spoon for the backcountry is a long spoon so that you can reach all the way down and you're not like getting your hand 
covered in freeze dried meal, you know? I really was kind of hoping that I'd be able to taste the tea. I like it. I like lemon lime. So this one has about a hundred milligrams of caffeine in it. Mm. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Super chowder eating. Yeah. Whoa. There he is, you can see him. He's catchable, that big one's not. Mm hmm Just laying in that cup bank. Oh yeah, you can see him. That's I'll nice put an fish. arrow on the screen. Dang, nice fish. What are you doing, buddy? I feel like my legs are actually the most tired, which is unexpected. I have been running, but running doesn't translate. I've been running like fast miles. It doesn't translate to hiking. Tons of vertical. Gotta soak in every second of it, even when it kind of feels like it sucks. It's just cool to be out here right now. Like we haven't seen another person. And not that it's bad when you see other hunters, but there is something super special about feeling like you have the whole area to yourself. Although, we also haven't heard any bugles, so maybe there's a reason why no one else is here. Fresh bear scratch. Look at that. Found a couple older ones earlier today, um, along with all of the bear scat that we found. We're headed back up got my bow. I'm all packed up, ready to go. Oh, there's actually a little bit right here too. That's cool. Um, I'm just gonna climb. Just bust it out, climb, get up there. Be strong. Nice game trail. Kneel to your bed. some steep, nasty stuff with his back against the mountain, looking out. Buck, mule deer bed, for sure. Oh yeah, he's right there. Oh, there he is. We flushed a grouse. He's in the tree. You might want to get over there really slow. Very weary. I'm just going to back up a little bit until I have a clear shot. He's going Yeah. If you just get under that tree right there, he's the directly the above it. The one just straight, the big one right in front of us, 10 yards in front of us. Another one. There were more, so we can go try and grab them. I think I might have heard them all flush. Not positive, but we'll go see. It broke the limb that he was standing on. Nick spotted elk, uh, and a lot of them, they're all herded up. And by the looks of it, there's probably a bull with them, but they're so far away that we literally can't tell. And I have 10 by 42s. Um, we can just see their big old brown bodies. We don't have a spotting scope, but that's fine because for us, like any elk are good elk. <laughs> we don't need to see exactly what they are. And they're already too far for us to begin with. This is actually like a good um, kind of lesson, I guess. It's just Nick and I out here and we've already packed in so far and the idea of us hiking however far away they are 
and then actually killing something is just unrealistic for the two of us. Meat would end up spoiling. Even if we killed something, packed as much as we could, hiked out, by the time that we would even get friends or help to come pack out the rest of it, it would just take so long. If we killed something like around where we are right now, it would still be tough, but it'd be sweet. But those ones are just a little too far outside the zone of it being doable, which is sad, but I'm also excited that we finally saw something in here because we were just saying like, how is there nothing in here? This place is perfect. We've seen so much sign. Everything that they can need is here. Opening day of elk. And we found elk. Too far away, but we found elk. I'm down an arrow. That grouse got the best of me. <laughs> Nick said something earlier. He's like, feels like a typical day of elk hunting. Exhausted. Sea elk, but they're too far away. Find grouse, but you miss it. <laughs> Or they fly too far, and then you can't relocate them. Craziness. Let's get back to camp. Dang it! <laughs> Woke up to a freaking bloody nose. Ugh. And rain. And rain. Not a lot of rain though, just enough to make the tent wet so when we pack it up, we have to unpack it and dry it out. <sighs> no bugles. All of the elk ran away. We're getting out of here. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so much lighter than it was. It's still heavy. But damn, so much lighter than that first day. I'm barely carrying any water. Because when we cross the creek, I'll chug. I have about half a liter for, for the pack out. Or the hike out. <laughs> Maybe if I killed that grouse, it could have been considered a pack out. But yeah, this feels good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, got to get him. It's a big one, too. <sighs> we got dinner. This is like that perfect. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me take care of it. So this is a blue grouse, also known as a dusky grouse. That's coming. Yep, there it goes. Woo! It's gonna make a cute little chicken wing. Just like that. Beautiful little breast. Two breasts. We'll finish cleaning these out real good once we get back. Put that in the game bag. And then two legs. We'll make some little chicken wings. Some little buffalo wings. It'll be awesome. Those go back too. Oh, oh man. He's worth it. So beautiful. That was a lot. Nick and I both just said, I think we were a little too excited when we were planning that hunt. Oh man. Well, we got a grouse. We packed out some meat. <laughs> we found elk. 
all things considered, that was really freaking exhausting. <laughs> but also a really, really cool experience. Like 12 miles from where I'm standing right now is where the elk, where we saw the elk. And you know, Nick and I couldn't pack out an entire elk by ourselves. So it would have, it just would have been a nightmare. So in a weird way, I'm glad that we did it. I'm glad that we know now. I'm glad that we can like plan our next couple of hunts better. Um, because this is a new area for us. We're like, we've elk hunted a bunch, but anytime you're in a new area, it takes a little while to like kind of figure it out. So how do you feel? I need to take this pack off. Okay. Well, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. We are making our way out to our spot to elk hunt. <laughs> I'm so excited, I can cry. <laughs>